Total Pro Sports presents 15 Athletes Who Went Broke. When we were younger, a lot of us wanted to grow up and make quite a bit of money. But unfortunately, that doesn't always work out. And for those of us who it did work out for, we don't always manage to hold on to it. In this case, we're going to focus on 15 athletes who went broke. Number 15, Derek Coleman. The former first round pick of the New Jersey Nets was considered to be the next Charles Barkley. However, due to injuries and weight problems, he never amounted to much on the court. Somehow, though, he made over $87 million during his mediocre NBA career. Most of that money was never seen again, though, because in early 2010, he had trouble paying over 100 creditors. Number 14, Evander Holyfield. Boxing champions make a lot of money, normally, and Holyfield was certainly not an exception. Holyfield made millions of dollars from boxing along with advertising and endorsements. Holyfield blew away all of his money by fathering 11 children and having to pay child support for all of them. It is now estimated that Holyfield has a net worth of $500,000. Number 13, Diego Maradona. A soccer legend in Argentina who helped his team win a World Cup. You would never expect Diego to be broke, but unfortunately, Italian tax agencies accused Maradona in 2009 of not paying some $53 million in taxes on the income during his soccer days. Last year, tax collectors finally decided to freeze Maradona's assets. What makes matters worse is he is currently unemployed. Number 12. Lawrence Taylor The great but troubled NFL star lived a life most of us would never want to partake in due to numerous off-the-field issues. LT made millions of dollars in the NFL, but was still surprisingly years behind on his mortgage when he filed for bankruptcy in 1998. Number 11, Mark Brunel. The well-known starting and backup QB for a plethora of teams was said to have had made over 50 million during his NFL career. However, he filed for bankruptcy when he had only 5 million in assets and 25 million in liabilities. Number 10, Johnny Unitas. Widely considered one of the best quarterbacks to ever touch the field, the golden arm eventually became the broke arm. Unitas declared bankruptcy in 1991, in 2002 when he unfortunately passed away. His management business had to also file for bankruptcy to protect themselves from going under. Number 9. Marion Jones An amazing track and field Olympian only to see her life spiral out of control due to lying under oath about steroids. Jones saw all of her money decimated by her legal troubles. She was even forced to sell her own mother's house to help keep her afloat, which had to absolutely take a toll on her and her family. Number 8. Kenny Anderson Anderson made an estimated $60 million during his long-tenured NBA career playing for nine different teams. He was married three times and the divorces were devastating to his finances. The child support price was too overwhelming and along with bad investments, Anderson had to file for bankruptcy with only $40,000 to his name. Number 7. Antoine Walker Better known as Tuan, the former Celtics player made over $100 million during his long NBA career. In 2010, he filed for bankruptcy, claiming assets of only $4 million and liabilities of almost $13 million. There have been rumors that a gambling addiction problem is the reason for his bankruptcy, but it is only speculation at this time. Number 6. Latrell Sprewell The charismatic former NBA player turned down a three-year, $21 million contract from the Timberwolves, citing, I have a family to feed. He then went on to have one of the worst years of his life and never played in the NBA after that. He had to foreclose two of his houses a few years later. Think he regrets turning down that deal? Number 5. Tony Gwynn While many players jump from team to team, this beloved baseball player stayed with one team, the San Diego Padres. The Hall of Famer filed for bankruptcy during only his sixth MLB season, citing bad investments, poor management, and over $800,000 in taxes. Number 4. Scottie Pippen one of the greatest sidekicks the NBA has ever seen, the six-time NBA champion had a $4 million corporate jet grounded just months after buying it. Although he has never officially filed for bankruptcy, Pippen has claimed a law firm has mismanaged his money. Number 3. Michael Vick Before Vick even had the dog problems, he received news that he was close to being bankrupt. He owed the IRS millions of dollars back in the early 2000s. Keep in mind, he signed at the time a record $62 million six-year deal with the Atlanta Falcons. With Vic in jail and not getting paid by the NFL because of this, he was forced to file bankruptcy. Number 2. Vince Young The college legend and former NFL bust signed a $26 million rookie contract. However, he frivolously spent his money at all the wrong times and had to pay child support for four different children during his short tenure in the NFL. It got so bad that he had to borrow $300,000 to throw himself a birthday party during the NFL lockout while he wasn't even being paid salary. And number one, Mike Tyson. Iron Mike, one of boxing's biggest legends. In the 1980s, it is said that Iron Mike amassed between 300 and 400 million. 
Some of his assets included mansions, high-end cars, and even pet tigers. It should come as no surprise that Tyson had to declare bankruptcy in 2003 because he owed $13 million to the IRS and $9 million in divorce settlements. And that's it for 15 athletes who went broke. But wait, we are not done with you yet. In the comments below, we want to know, out of all the athletes we've mentioned, who had the best overall career? And for more cool videos, click subscribe. Total Pro Sports presents 15 Athletes Who Went Broke When we were younger, a lot of us wanted to grow up and make quite a bit of money. But unfortunately, that doesn't always work out. And for those of us who it did work out for, we don't always manage to hold on to it. In this case, we're going to focus on 15 athletes who went broke. Number 15, Derek Coleman. The former first round pick of the New Jersey Nets was considered to be the next Charles Barkley. However, due to injuries and weight problems, he never